Hey guys, it's Chill again, back for another episode of Mountain Blade, but this time I'm doing Warband. I was doing with Fire and Sword, but I got a bit peeved off at it because I suck so much at it. Um, so I'm going to start a new game on Warband because I know I'm slightly better at it. So here goes nothing. Welcome adventure to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game you must create your character. Remember that in traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of nobility. That does not, does not however mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals and in fact have a much more interesting if more challenging early game. Ooh, I shall be female. I will be a, ho a hunter. You are a daughter of the family who's lived off the woods, doing whatever they need to make ends meet. Hunting, woodcutting, making arrows, even a spot of poaching when everything has got tight. Winter was never a good time for your family as the cold took animals and people alike, but you always lived to see another dawn, though your brothers and sisters might might not be so fortunate. You start to learn about the world as almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spend your early life as um, get a shop assistant. As a girl growing out of childhood you have I can't even speak today. Uh, you apprentice to a wealthy merchant, picking up the trade over the years of working shops and driving caravans. You soon became adept at the art of buying low, selling high, and leaving the customers thinking they got the better deal. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a game poacher. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you became a woman and the whole world seems to change around you. Dissatisfied with the common men's desperate scrabble for coin, you took to your local lord's own forest and decided to help yourself to its bounty. Lords be damned, you hunted stags, bulls and geese and sold the precious meats under the table. You cut down the trees right under the watchman's noses and turned them into firewood that warmed many freezing homes during the winter, all for a few silver coins of course. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take the decision was bugger one blast only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer you're not even sure when your home became a prison when the familiar became mundane but your dreams of wandering have taken over your life whether you earn, yearn for some faraway place or merely for the open road and the freedom to travel you could no longer bear to stay in the same place you simply went and never looked back dot 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 Become an adventurer and ride your destiny. Right, so go chill the great. Uh, intelligence needs to be quite high. So I want persuasion, prisoner management. Path riding is quite high, thank god for that. Tracking, trainer, looting. Uh, need to ride a horse, Christ. Inventory management, yeah. Party healing speed is increased by 20. Yeah, I might do that since I suck so much. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with that. That looks good. Eeh, horrible. I'll go with that. Really young. Oh, I'll do my usual. Do, 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 do. Eeh, that way. Think it that way. I'll put that in the middle. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Yep, I look terrible enough already. Uh, you hear about Caradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and their mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power or glory. In this land which holds great dangers or even greater opportunities, you believe you, believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. Um, you feel that finally you hold the key to, of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will. 
and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear of Coraldia and its kingdoms, you... Uh, you came with a caravan crossing the great desert to the east of Coraldia. Guides choose your route carefully, leapfrogging through treacherous dunes. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Want to get started. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn at Shiraz and fall asleep quickly. Shiraz. <laughs> However, you wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out into the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear, you hear a sound that stands the hairs that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of the blade sliding from the scabbard. Ooh. Scary. Boop! And a boop! Ah, oh, shite. Die, you bugger. Bah, you're dead. Unlucky. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. Um, that's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Or no, heaven, although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you could help me with something. Let's talk some more inside. Out here we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you into your house, into his house, sorry. Once inside, he stands by the door while checking the street and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes in to speak. I don't want to punch him. Now let me explain. We're always the brigand. We've always had brigands in the hill, driven to banditry by war, debt or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is these bandits have an ally, ally inside the walls to help them. Enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting and they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prom promnip <laughs> eh, can't talk. Promnipotent promnipotent prominent house <laughs> out alone after dark in towns like these. Well I suppose you were too um but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things have become. He had no such excuse but his family so what but he's family, so what can I do? If you don't protect your kin, these, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. So you're only getting him back. Oh, you're useless. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade. More importantly, you must have had a bit of fire in your belly. You wouldn't be coming to Karadia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits, and beat the crap out of them. I like... I need some people. Awesome. Ooh. So, let's go to the tavern to see if there is anyone I can hire. She looks useful. Hello. Hello there from the look of you. I'd say you're expecting to get some fights in the near future. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can't hire her. How dare me. Right, let's go get some shiz. We're off to see the wizard. Wonderful wizard of Oz. Yay, fives peeps. Nope, don't want to go that way. Don't want to go that way. We'll avoid you for a bit. God, blooming loads of them. Christ. Useless. Alright, let's go that way. Hopefully I can avoid the bandits for a little while. Because I really don't want to see them. Oh my good god, there is friggin' millions of them. Christ. Oof. Fudge. I'm not afraid of you. Ah, fudge, 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 fudge. Fudgicles. I uh, don't really have much choice. We shall give it a go. Come on, horsey. Up the hill. Up the hill. Can't jump. There we go. 
Pew. Pew. Sorry for the sound effects. Something's got to hit. At least they're terrible shots. Come on. Boom. Oh, I'm a terrible blooming shot. Oh, I hit someone. That's a good start. It's an awesome start. Helps if I don't run them over with my horsey. It does not help very much. Come on. Yeah. Yay, I won my first battle, I didn't die. Woot! Woot! Awesome. Yay! Oh good god, I've got loads of crap. Oh, have I got loads of furs? Are they better? Yes they are. I shall have you. Is that better? Yes, I shall have you too. Awesome. Doing well. A butcher's knife, hatchet. Yeah. Let's get a little cap going. Look even sexier than before. Always helps. Yeah. Uh, where shall I go? Head this way. We'll go there and get rid of my people. Well, my looters. Yeah, you run away, you bitch. God, there's millions of them. I prefer this game. More things to do straight away. It's awesome. Let's go drop these bad boys. I didn't realise it was village. Ah, huh, awesome. A bit slow because I have some prisoners, prisoners of war. Serves them right for trying to kill me. Come on. Yeah, you run away, you biatch. Let's kill you. Kill you. Ah, trying to die, you buggers. I think I'm better at shooting. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> so where are you? Boop. There you are. No, that wasn't even close. That was a bit closer. Shoot the trees. So, yeah, there they are. Boop. Give it a big swing. At least I hit one. It's a good start. Wipe out you. Chase you, you're running away. 
Yeah! Awesome! Awesome! I can't take any more, bugger! Cool! Oh good god, I've got so much crap! Move it all across, and I'll go sell it, and that will probably be the end of the episode, I'm afraid. Don't spare, I will be back after I've done some Rosetta Stone. Um, to then have another go at this, I am preferring this one, I must say. Um, there is meant to be another one coming out soon. Good. Let's get some bread in this joint. I'm kind of going over. There we go. Let's go to arm. Boop. Making too much money here. <laughs> choo 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 choo. God, there needs to be a quick one. Did it say Q? No. Nope. Need to read the bloody instructions and not skip through them. Alright, there we go. Let's go to the tavern, see if there's anyone here. Alright, I shall think I shall hire you. You look like you suck though. Two hundred dinars! Oh my good god, you crap. Oh, so I'll go back in there. So, if you guys have enjoyed, then comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I'm enjoying this one more than the With Fire and Sword, so I think I shall continue with this one. Um, but if you'd like to comment, um, it's nice having some comments. Um, I will answer them, best to my ability. Um, but I will see you guys next time. See ya!